Mr. Chair, I, I rise today in support of H.R. Uh, 535, the PFAS Action Act, and my amendment to the bill, which gives manufacturers an opportunity to be transparent with consumers and make clear that their products are indeed free of PFAS. PFAS chemicals are found in coatings that line products like nonstick pots and pans, waterproof clothing, and grease-resistant and fast food containers, items that we use every day and rarely think about. We're now well aware of the devastating harm that these chemicals can cause, growth and learning delays in infants and children, increased risk of birth defects, weakened immune systems, decreased fertility, and increased risk of cancer. Each year, billions of pounds of these products are dumped into landfills or burned in incinerators, releasing PFAS pollutants into the air, the water, the soil, contaminating the food we eat and the water we drink. In my district in New Jersey, there are over 133 contaminated sites, more than 30 of which, 30 are schools. And right now, consumers have no way of knowing for sure whether products like the water resistant spray that we put on our shoes and jackets or the stain resistant sprays we put on our furniture rugs and carpets are or are not contaminated with PFAS coatings that can harm our health. My amendment would alleviate this problem. It will add stain, water, and grease-resistant coatings to the list of products eligible for a voluntary label indicating the absence of PFAS, which will allow consumers to make safer, more informed decisions about the products that we purchase. We must start holding polluting companies accountable for the chemicals that they are putting into our products that we bring to our homes and give to our children, but we should also be giving companies that do the right thing, that protect consumers, a way to be recognized, a way to be rewarded for responsible behavior. Thank you, and I look forward to voting for this legislation tomorrow. I reserve the balance of my time.